<clears throat> all right what I've got set up here is pretty much the exact same installation or configuration that you have at your facility we've got our DP transmitter that's set up the same way and is right now actually showing a slight zero error so it's positive 0 0.07 inches which is giving you an indicated flow of 2.08 MGD on the display you can see the 4.007 milliamp output here and we also have a panel meter scale of 0 to 100 MGD and right now it's showing 0 0.05 which matches pretty closely with what you guys are seeing in the field so I was going to demonstrate what you need to do to change that back to the way it should be. So if we look at our communicator, we we'll go through the menu as it is currently. If we look at our heart and variable mapping, you'll we'll see the primary variable is pressure. So we're going to change that to a scaled variable. But I'll go through the rest of the configuration first. The display is just showing pressure and scaled variable. The scaled variable setup. Here's the SV data points, 0 to 172.75 inches, equals the scaled output of 0 to 100 MGD. And here you can see the SV units, scaled variable units are in uh, MGD. Square root is turned on, and the uh, low flow cutoff is on as well, with a low, low flow cutoff of 1 MGD. Under basic setup, I didn't put a tag number in, but you have inches of water, range values, 172.75 inches and zero and screw root is on and you have one second of damping so those are all the main configuration items you want to look at to uh, start off the first thing I would do is go into service tools and team maintenance and we're going to do a zero trim pressure calibration so again, right now our pressure calibrator is hooked up. This side is just vented to atmosphere. So once you have a zero, a zero differential pressure applied to your transmitter, if it's showing a you know, slightly positive value, we can do a zero trim and it will zero the transmitter. Once that's completed, you should have zero on the display for scale and for pressure. We have a 4 milliamp output, and again, your pressure is going to jump around a tiny bit, so you might see it go a little bit above or a little bit below zero. And on our panel meter on the wall, we've got zero MGD. And again, it jumps around a little bit as our DP and our signal jumps around. I've got no filter and no uh, low flow cutoff on our panel meter. So once that's done, you can change the primary variable to scaled variable. In the variable mapping. So we're going to change that to scaled variable. I'll change this one back to pressure even though it's only just for heart use. Hit send. And that always sends. Now it's applying the low flow cutoff because again we're below 1 MGD. So just giving you a warning on the configure of the communicator. Now the next thing we're going to have to check after doing that is under basic setup. So our range values now are going to be in flow, but we have to set those to match what we want. This is actually going to be driving your 4 to 20 in a way. It's kind of an odd setup in my opinion. But so we're going to change the upper range value to 100 MGD. And the next thing to check, I'm going to go back out to the previous screen. And you notice the transfer function here is square root. And some of the newer Rosemont models, they won't let you do that. They'll change it automatically to linear, kind of like it changed our pressure or uh, range values from inches of differential to MGD. Because once the scaled variable is your heart primary variable, that should be what's driving that 4 to 20 output signal. And uh, so then on some of the newer ones, it'll automatically set this to linear. And you'll see in the user manual that it actually tells you to make sure this is set to linear if your primary variable is scaled variable. Because if you apply square root twice, you're going to get an exaggerated flow reading in, in error. So it'll be uh, substantially higher than it should be, which I can demonstrate here. I can apply a little bit of pressure. And only applying 0 0.15, 0 0.2 inches 
And it's going to take a little bit for that to catch up at the transmitter. We're getting 7 milliamps and we're showing 18 MGD there. Well, over here you're only showing 3.5 MGD. So like I said, it's going to be substantially higher than it should be. So if I change that to linear, we'll be reading correctly. Let's end. So now we got 4.5 milliamps here at 0.2 inches. 0.2 inches here, 3.44 MGD on the screen, and 3.47 or so MGD on our panel meter. Again, it's varying a little bit here. So now everything should be set up correctly.